I think I assumed that my pregnancy would be just completely awful. See, now I thought the opposite. I always thought that, because Eric is very tough, she's very athletic, she's very competitive. I just had a feeling that your body would take well to it. Hello everybody, my name is Erica. This is my husband, Randy. Hello. But the real star of the family is this little girl right here, Jocelyn Greer Burkholder. She was born about four days ago on Halloween. She's our little pumpkin. And she's not crying for you today, isn't that nice? I just, I don't know, I thought that I would just really be uncomfortable for the full whole nine months. But that really wasn't the case, I loved it. I loved gaining weight, I loved that knowing that she was there, I loved, I loved everything about it. The ending, the, end, the last few weeks though, that wasn't easy. And towards the end it was just stressful because as we're getting to the point where the baby's gonna come, every time we would see the doctor, they're saying that it's just small, the measurements are small. You're always waiting for that next piece of news and we're kind of waiting to see, you know, they, they were telling us at a certain point, if the numbers don't get better, we're gonna have to, to do and an do a induction. Yeah, because they, they, they wanna hit that point where they think the baby is better outside than in. I was five centimeters dilated and 90% effaced at my last visit. And because the doctors said there could be complications with, you know, they were worried about her growth, <clears throat> he had suggested that I be induced sooner rather than later. And I negotiated with my doctor and said, can I come in for a procedure called stripping the membrane, and if nothing happens, then I will get induced on Monday. The doctor said that I was five centimeters dilated and 90% of face, and how can I be walking around like this? When they were like, we want you to go to the hospital and we want to break your water, we were both really concerned. <laughs> and Randy's <laughs> like, Really, Erica? Well, to ask her why that's necessary. So I said, Doctor, why is that necessary? And she's like, Because I'm concerned you're going to deliver in your living room. Mm -hmm. So I basically called them and said, We're going to the hospital. So after they broke Erica's water, we waited to get the, contra the contraction started and we tried to walk her around to see what was going to happen on its own. And they came. Yeah. And they came strong. I didn't have any of that, oh, here's a contraction here, and then an hour later, another contraction. Mm -hmm. It was basically one minute apart. That was the beginning. And then they went almost, I felt like there was no break in when they started getting really tough. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Pitocin level is going up and they're trying to speed things up. So she's getting more and more Pitocin and she wasn't getting any more of the epidural to kind of balance out the pain. So that last hour of contractions, when you eventually got to nine, that hour from nine till 10 was um, yeah, pretty and we painful. Yeah, we should bring it into the picture. I had, what, eight people in the labor and delivery room? all with fantastic paninis and cookies and breads eating while I couldn't eat. Finally, my doctor, oh! She wants to be in My doctor um, cleared, cleaned them all, cleared them all out and Randy basically got me from nine to 10 centimeters. Like I really could not have done it without him. He basically coached me through the hardest part of the whole entire pregnancy. And then 10 centimeters and... And then baby came about half an hour later. So I was very surprised as the baby's starting to come out, you see a little bit and then a little bit more and a little bit more. And it finally, she finally kind of did like a little spiral out. And as they caught her, I was just in complete shock to see that those girls like, it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And it made it a lot more fun because I'd spent all that time thinking about the things that you do with a, a little boy and, and picturing the boy and growing up and everything. And, and I got to do it all over again when I found out that it was a girl. It was fun. Erica, is there any kind of another piece for this, or is this supposed to? I think we should have thought about this earlier. There's so much of Randy that I hope that she has. I want her to be Change confident. Up, One thing that I love that you do is that you, you never give up. He, if there's a problem that needs to be solved, he doesn't walk away from it. He, he's just persistent, and he, he, all, he like, enjoys the challenge. And I hope that she has that. One thing I'm very happy about for Jocelyn is that she does have her mom as a role model. She follows her heart, she, she goes after her dreams, and you want that. You want her to have the, the courage to be able to do that for herself, too. Where's Mama? We want to pass on what we know, but we don't want to stop her from being who she is. Yeah. You hope that you can just try to help them get through some of the harder things, and that you can teach them to be strong, and to be confident, and be who they are, and that, and that they'll find their own way, and they'll pick and choose the things that they want to do, and, and be the person that they can be. 
a direct quote. Okay. Not long after she had been through the whole delivery process, one of the first things she said was, "If the rest of them were going to be are going to be this easy, I'll have I'll keep having babies." And I'll so the answer is yes. We definitely are going to have mm -hmm. more babies and soon. You were good to your mama. It was all worth it.